Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer WhatsApp or WhatsApp business chats from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android without losing any data or having to reset your phone. On my right hand side, I have an Android phone running WhatsApp and on the left, I have an iPhone where we'll be transferring all our WhatsApp chats and data. There are two methods to do this. The first method requires a PC and the second one doesn't require a PC at all. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the method without using a PC. So on your Android phone, you need to download an app called WatsGo. Just search for WatsGo on the Play Store and make sure you select the right one. It's developed by iTool Lab. Go ahead and download this app. They also offer several other useful apps like Location Management, Data Recovery, and Story Saver. Feel free to check out their Play Store console. I'll drop the official Play Store link in the video description below. But that's not all. They also have a wide range of other tools and services available. If you search for iTool Lab on Google and visit their official website at www.itoollab.com, you'll discover multiple tools and services they offer. Plus, they're currently running a Black Friday sale where you can get up to 75% off on most of their tools, including the WhatsApp transfer feature. You can also use their PC tool to transfer WhatsApp data if that suits you. So make sure to grab your deal while it lasts. Now let's head back to our Android phone. I've already installed the app. When you open it for the first time, you'll have the option to purchase a plan directly within the app. They offer both monthly and yearly subscriptions, so just pick whichever suits your needs best. Now you might be wondering, can I just use the Move to iOS? Well, yes, you technically can, but here's the catch. With Move to iOS, you're required to completely format and factory reset your iPhone to transfer WhatsApp data. However, with Watts Go, you don't need to format or delete anything on either your Android or your iPhone. Once you've purchased your plan, you'll arrive at the home page of the app. Now, if you purchased your plan directly from their website, simply click on the profile picture icon at the top, then click on sign up, and you can enter your login credentials right here. Perfect, I've successfully logged in. Now let's walk through how to actually transfer your WhatsApp data. The method I'm showing you in this video works for both regular WhatsApp and WhatsApp business. Simply tap on the Transfer WhatsApp Data button and then select which one you want to transfer, either WhatsApp or WhatsApp business. One of the best features of this tool is that it provides a step-by-step -step guide to help you transfer your data. Right now, it's prompting us to create a backup of our WhatsApp data, so let's open WhatsApp and navigate to Settings. From the Settings menu, tap on Chats, and then select Chat Backup. Now scroll down until you see the End-to-End -end Encrypted Backup option. Tap on it, then click on More Options, and choose the 64-digit key option. Next, tap on the Generate Key button, and it will create a unique 64-digit encryption key for your backup. Once it's generated, make sure to take a screenshot of this key. After that, Tap on, I saved my key, and carefully follow the on-screen instructions. WhatsApp will now begin backing up your data. It's important that you don't leave this screen until you're absolutely certain the backup has finished. Once the backup process is complete, go back and open the WhatsGo app, then tap on Done. Now you'll need to upload the encryption key that we just screenshotted. If the app has trouble detecting it automatically, you can also manually type in the key. Verify button, and now we need to log in to WhatsApp using the same phone number on your iPhone. So set your Android device aside for now and proceed to log in on your iOS device. After you've successfully logged in on your iOS device, come back to the WatsGo app and tap Next. Then tap on Start from the dialog. Now here's where we need to physically connect both phones using a USB Type-C or Lightning cable. Alternatively, you can use a USB OTG adapter to connect both devices together. Once you've connected the cable, double-check that your iPhone is being charged by the Android device. If you notice that your iPhone is actually charging the Android device instead, simply unplug the cable and reinsert it the other way around. Now, as you can see on the screen, both devices are successfully connected and WatsGo is requesting permission to proceed. Go ahead and allow it. You'll also need to tap trust on your iPhone. All right, our phones are now connected, but before we can transfer the WhatsApp data, 
we need to temporarily disable Find My iPhone on your iOS device. So open the Settings app, then tap on your iCloud account at the top, locate the Find My option, and disable Find My iPhone. Don't worry, you can turn it back on immediately after the data transfer is complete. The app will now begin the data restoration process. As you can see here, our WhatsApp data is now being restored onto the iPhone. Once the restoration is finished, your iPhone will automatically restart. After your iPhone restarts, simply open WhatsApp and go through the initial setup process just like you normally would. Once that's done, you'll notice that all your chats and WhatsApp data are now present on your iPhone. As you can clearly see, all my chats and files have been successfully transferred to my iPhone without having to reset it. All of this was made possible thanks to the WhatsGo WhatsApp transfer tool by i2Lab. I've included the tool link down in the description and in the pinned comment below. Be sure to check it out. And remember, they're currently offering 75% off, so grab your deal before this limited time offer expires. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more helpful content like this.